In this video, I want to cover drone block support for Spark. Now, this is with the DJI SDK 4.10, and we've received a lot of questions just asking about Spark compatibility. So, I want to demonstrate some basic functionality, and then we'll get into some of the SDK limitations with Spark. So, I'm just going to do a simple takeoff. I'll take off to, let's say, 50 feet, then we'll fly forward. 25 feet hopefully I don't fly into those trees and what we'll do next is we'll just do a simple yaw I'll demonstrate a yaw right uh, let's just put 720 so we should do two right hand turns we'll do a camera we'll pitch gimbal now here's something to note that spark cannot go to minus 90 degrees it can't go above zero or below minus 90 so for this demonstration I'm going to enter minus 85 hit OK we'll take a photo and then we're going to fly forward a negative 25 that will actually send spark back to backwards 25 it will turn around and come back and then finally we'll land so so that's our basic block code Let's go ahead, see I'm connected, we see our current altitude satellite's battery, and I'm connected to Spark via Wi-Fi through the Spark RC. And let me go ahead and launch this mission, preview it, and see our mission here, it shows our different waypoints. I'll click start, confirm, camera will display. Spark should take off to 50 feet. And then we'll see Spark fly forward 25 feet. We'll see it do two yaw rotations. So there's the first. Still going, we'll do one more. Okay, now we'll watch it pitch the gimbal down. We can see that, hopefully in the screen. Yep, there we go. And then this fly minus 25 feet. It'll begin the landing sequence. Mission was completed successfully. You can see it landed a couple of feet from where it took off from. So one limitation obviously is the gimbal pitch limitation that sometimes catches users off guard and that's something we had to discover through testing. The other thing I want to demonstrate is just in general with autonomous missions, you do still have the capability to give stick input and that's very important to know just as you're perhaps landing or maybe you need to adjust the flight path of the aircraft uh, while the mission is carrying on. So in this case I just have a simple takeoff to 50 feet and land and what I'll do is actually demonstrate how I can give stick input while Spark is in the landing sequence. So let's go ahead and preview. I'll start the mission. Yes I'm ready to launch it. So we'll take off and what Spark will do is it'll change altitude to 50 feet. So the takeoff block is actually uh, two different commands. It's a takeoff as well as a change altitude command all built into directly into drone blocks. Okay, so what will happen next is Spark will begin to descend into its landing sequence. So Spark is descending. See it's sort of maybe over the grass. I'm gonna go ahead and just use my right stick to pull back a little bit. Then I'm gonna go left. But Spark is still trying to land. If I needed to, I could yaw. It's really handy as you're running these missions, especially with Spark Outdoors. There's a lot of areas where it can be a challenge to land. But all in all, our testing with SDK 4.10 has gone really well. Spark is responding well to uh, all of the different mission commands. So we'll be sharing more about that later. But 
give drone blocks for Spark a try. If you own a Spark, if not, you can try it with Tello or some of the other DJI aircraft. Just wanted to share that brief update. For all those who have asked about Spark support, definitely be sharing more information in the near future. And until next time, thanks for watching.